Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 14th through the 21st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the books and ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Okay, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for the Aries, Aries, Aries? What's going on for the Aries for the week of August 14th through August 21st, 2017? Aries, Aries, Aries. Oh, somebody doesn't want somebody anymore. Somebody doesn't want you anymore. Maybe you don't want them. So, somebody wants you to make some sacrifices this week, Aries. Yeah, but I feel like some sacrifices will not be made. I mean, but vice versa, it can go either way because it's a general reading. But I see sacrifices. Okay, so this could mean somebody wants you to sacrifice somebody you love or you love this person that's making you, trying to make you make a sacrifice, okay? All right, so... Um, I think I'm, I'm feeling like you don't get the a sense of how big this sacrifice is. So it's like somebody wants you to sacrifice something. You love them, but you're not thinking about like how serious and how, how big this sacrifice is, how much this sacrifice. Wow. I keep learning. I don't like it. All right. So. I don't know. This makes me feel like some kind of denial about this love is making you feel like like taking you feel like somebody's using you to get somewhere. Somebody is using you to get somewhere. You really care about this person. And you're not seeing what they're doing to you. Or you're trying not to. Wow. Um, so it seems like this person is using you. But they make you feel good. So you're like, eh, whatever. Yeah, they make you feel good. So it's causing you to, you know, act like act like what, what is real ain't. All right, so there's some secrets going on. Oh, gosh. That's a terrible setup. All right. What are these secrets for the Aries? What's the unseen that's hidden for the Aries? Okay, you got two cards. So, damn. Uh, so, it seemed like you're going to find out. I feel like you're going to find out something about the X and then you're going to disappear. So I feel like this person has been dealing with their ex and they're going to disappear. You're going to disappear. But it could go either way because it's a general reading. All right, I want to know what this sacrifice is about. What is this sacrifice for the Aries for the week of 8, 14, 21? 8, 14 through 21st Aries. Mm, yeah, so they just want to take, take, take. Take, take, take. Yeah, so actual actualizing like right now you're starting to come to your senses about what's going on you know you're starting to realize that they are they are using you but it seemed like i feel like you're gonna tell them no and they're gonna try to leave you or you just like trying to build up the confidence to like think about what you're doing so you can leave them Yeah, I feel like somebody's leaving for their ex. I think this they might be leaving you for their ex. Mm hmm All right, what's going on with the Aries? Oh, jeez. Well, the lover's card. So that's the lover's card twice. So, I don't know. I just thought about the song Lovers to Lovers. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so I don't know. I got this little small feeling that uh, two of the people in the relationship are ended up talking to each other like th the person and the person on the side going like, you know, 
like say it's a girlfriend and I feel like the girlfriend's I mean the boyfriend's girlfriend is gonna cock the other girlfriend or boy what however the relationship goes. But I feel like there's gonna be some contact with the um relationships. With the people on the side. Alright. Alright, so somebody's been working real hard for something, Aries. Like I said, I read these straight out the book. I'm going to try not to put my little two cents in. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so they definitely, this makes me feel like they're going to leave you. But let me read this straight out the book. So first we got the eight of coins. And the eight of coins says, uh, you may find yourself learning a new trade. You will find economic stability, seek opportunity, ties which specialize in knowledge and learning. So, I don't know. So, I don't know. It seems like you've just been working hard on something so far. Let's see. Yeah, working hard on making this person act right or treat them right, you know. You've been working hard to make this person good. All right, so we got the Hierophant, which is discovery and morality. Sometimes feeling of being overwhelmed, deeper ties to others occur. Uh, you may be taking advantage of unconventional approach. approach. So, I don't know, now, with those two together, it seemed like you may be working hard for something and it's somebody coming to cherry pick, you know? They trying to um, come get what you got. This, this reverse and this together makes me feel like you got somebody that's really using the hell out of you. I mean, like, every little dime you make or every little thing you get, they want it, you know? All right, so we got the two of coins reversed. So this card indicates um, emotional intimidation, communication. Uh, be very careful in any papers you may sign. Uh, make sure you understand any offer that is extended to you. So it's basically, yeah, I really feel like this person might try to trick you into signing off on them something. And I feel like this is when you're going to realize that this person is no good for you, you know. That's when you're going to be like, oh, you know, they've been telling me, but now I see it myself. You are a trickster. All right, so then we got the Ace of Swords reverse. Ace of Swords is um, a notice of new birth. Ooh, pregnancies, increase in family, marriage, or adoption and relocation so that might be going back to this card here it seems like somebody might be leaving for the um look at that look at this hiding under here just peeking out deceitful so it seems like um somebody is probably about to get ready to leave for the ex you know they stealing everything from you or you're giving them everything you got and i feel like they stockpiling this and about to go to the person that they're pregnant by or um that they got pregnant but that's all i have for you guys um make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs if you want a person to read check in the description box below other than that have a great week